Good evening, one and all. This is July 23rd, 2022. All right. This is my 37th anniversary date when I was revived in the Holy Ghost. Okay, revived, resurrected from the dead. And um, yeah, it was a good time. 1985, that's when it happened. So, so yeah, it was uh, a very pivotal time in my life. I'm now an apostle, preacher of the gospel of Yahusha HaMashiach, whom the world calls Jesus Christ. And I'm so glad I'm saved, right? The world is going into a tailspin of confusion, disruption, but it's also a very exciting time. Why? Because the scriptures are being fulfilled, okay? Prophecies are coming to pass, and I'm talking about prophecies from the Old Testament concerning the rapture of the church, the Ecclesia, the body of Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, being raptured, all right? These are the days. And also, it's talking about the dry bones of the 12 tribes of Israel coming together. Very important, extremely important time. So there's an overlapping between the church and the awakening of Judea, the Judeans, us, the black diaspora. We are of the, of the nation of Judea. And I'm talking about 2,000 years ago when our ancestors were exiled from the land. We had to flee because the Romans in 70 AD, they ransacked Jerusalem and uh, destroyed it, leveled everything to the ground according to the prophecies by Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus Christ our Lord, our King. All right? It happened in 70 AD. Flavius Josephus, he recorded it. The Romans allowed him to. He was a Judean. Yes, a nappy-headed black man indeed. And he recorded it. God preserved him for that. He was a Roman citizen. He fought against the, uh, the Romans. And uh, he was the last remaining Roman um, Judean that fought against them. And they were very impressed with him, of course, because he had predicted that the Romans will, would come in and destroy the city that he was fighting against in 47 days. I don't remember the city right now, but it was a, a city in the north of the Israelite territory, okay, the Judean territory. And indeed, and he was a general fighting against the Roman legions of Vespasian and General Titus was the one that was fighting, doing the fighting against the Judeans because General Vespasian, which is the father of General Titus, he was called back to Rome to become the emperor of Rome. All right, so Vespasian became the emperor of Rome around 68 AD, and his son, General Titus, went back to Judea, and they had to fight against the, um, the rebellious city of Jerusalem, my ancestors, okay? Our ancestors, these were black people. All the Romans saw Judeans as Ethiopians, quote unquote. That means they were black. Okay, I'm giving you a bit of history of my, my ancestors. We, the black diaspora, we are the descendants of these displaced, exiled people. And the reason why I'm saying all of this is because scripture is being fulfilled. Okay? So we left Judea, much of our people went as slaves into the Roman Empire. Much of our people were killed, slaughtered, raped, pillaged and plundered. <laughs> Nothing new, all right? That's happened quite recently. And many of our people went into Africa, the greater continent of Africa. Keep in mind, the Middle East was not called the Middle East. It was called North East Africa. And so a large amount of our people went to Africa, south of the Sahara. We went along 
uh, the Red Sea coast. Some of us went into Arabia, crossed over the Horn of Arabia into the Horn of Africa and migrated west. Some went into Egypt and then went down into the Sudan, which means black, went into the area that's now known as Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, all the way down. Okay, Tanzania. Some of our people went as far as the Sudan and they went west. They went into the areas now known as the Cameroon and uh, the Cameroon, the uh, Nigeria, Togo, Benin, and certainly Ghana. My people in particular on my father's side from the Ashantis. Okay, these are Israelites, Judeans, all right? Specifically from the priesthood of Levi, the tribe of Levi or Levi. Okay, the Ashantis are directly related to Aaron the priest, Eliezer, uh, his son, Phinehas, his son, all the way down to us today. That's who we are. We're the sons of the priesthood in the scriptures what they call the Holy Bible, and of Judah. We're the tribe of Judah, the line of the tribe of Judah. That's who we are, all right? The people of the world are waking up to this. We certainly are waking up to this. The DNA doesn't lie. I had my DNA checked. They told me my ancestors are from the, the Middle East. I, <laughs> I was in shock when they told me in the year 2000. I had it done, and they told me who I am. So apparently... They've known who we are all along. It's just that we haven't known who we are. And when a people forget their history, they have no foundation. You, you can be called anything that your oppressors will dare to call you. But now the dry bones are waking up. We're coming together in our minds. As Ezekiel chapter 37 stipulates. We're coming together. So not just uh, these particular countries I mentioned in Africa, but... By and large, about 51% of Africans, okay, all along the West Coast and down in the midsection of Africa and along the South, and certainly the, uh, in, in South Africa, you've got the Lemba tribe. That happens to be my tribe on my father's side. They are of the priesthood of Aaron, the priest, brother of Moses. We're coming to know this, and DNA is confirming that this is true. There's no denying it now. On my mother's side, I'm from Judah. Judah, the tribe of Judah, the tribe of Ephraim, the tribe of Manasseh. And God has revealed this to me. It's in my DNA. But also he showed me in dreams and visions. And so God is waking us up to who we are. So I'm, I'm from the, the priesthood of Aaron and I'm from the house of King David, of the tribe of Judah. Many of us are, and some of us coming to know it specifically, such as myself, who God reveals it to directly. In dreams and visions. Listen, these are exciting times. The scriptures are being fulfilled. And I am tickled pink. Well, that's just the man I'm speaking. But let me tell you this. The rapture is at hand. I'm a preacher of the gospel of Yahusha HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. I am also a descendant of the ancient Israelites. I know my nationality. I know my ethnicity. I know the race of people I come from. Israel is my nation. That is my people. That's who I am. Just because I believe in Yahushua Mashiach and I preach the gospel of Jesus Christ for all men, doesn't matter who you are, what country you come from, the Lord has visited the Gentiles to pick out of them a people for his name. I completely concur with that, but I'm telling you now, those days are winding up. Now's the time to give your life to Jesus, repent of your sins, baptize in his name, receive his spirit, live a life in the spirit, walking according to his word, because time is running out for the church age, the gospel of grace age. It's going right back to the Jews. Shalom to one and all. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach.